warm welcome to all of you to another lecture on this course on simulation of communication systems using MATLAB. In the last lecture, we had talked about the Yule Walker equations and how the correlation coefficients and the AR process coefficients have a 1 1 relationship. In this lecture, we will quickly verify that relationship and uh, so I will have my AR example file, I will rename that to Yule Walker example. and let us do this. So, I am generating an AR process, these are the coefficients, I am generating the AR process and this is. So, uh, this is what is there. So, I want to generate, so I will run this and takes a second and then it generates the correlation coefficient which is fine. So, these are, there are too many samples, let us focus on just 100 and this and let us try to generate. So, we have an order 3 AR process, let us try to calculate the different parameters or so we had the following parameters with us, we will open this. So, we had P, we had R, we had sigma V square. So, let us try to calculate all of this. So, let me say R0 for the 0 lag autocorrelation. So, let me say that I define x vec or x position or position at let me take. So, we have a length 100 sequence. So, let me stabilize it and let us take the 50th entry as the position or the 50th entry as the reference point. So, so we will consider the 50th point in the sample or in the random process for as a reference. So, that said let us start. So, x naught equals x position this and say m equals 1. So, let me first consider a length 1 autoregressive process and this. So, x 0 equals x position. So, this generates x n or this generates the nth sample. I consider the 50th sample across the ensemble because uh, if you guys see this, this is the on all of these are ensemble averages. So, I have to consider the ensemble. So, I set n equals 50. So, or n equals 60 can be done without the loss of generality. So, let me do n equals 60, x 0 equals x position and x vector equals x position 2 minus 1, x position minus 1 to position minus m. So, let me show what this does. So, say position equals 60 and x 0 equals x position, this gives a value and if I do this, then what it gives me is copy and paste, run this. Oh, so there is a problem because m, so let me call this order l, l equals 3. I have introduced another variable L and L corresponds to the filter length. So, I have introduced uh, another variable filter length and this. So, let me copy this and copy and paste. Save this and this. So, x vec has been generated and this contains 3 entries. So, all of these are row vectors to remedy that let us initialize everything as column vectors. So, this created a column vector. So, x is a column vector and 
this so I run this again this won't work so I will stop this but anyway the vector x has been generated and we do not need this tau okay vector we do not need this product so so I run this and I generate the x vector which for length 1 is this and say length 3 then it will give me a length 3 vector and uh, you can see that this is if I look at this and if I 60 so 59 58 57 so this is the order reversed vector which is fine so which is what we want so now we have this and we have this so now we want to calculate so p equals 1 over m times this or mm, let me look at the definition of p is so p is this and p plus naturally we have to initialize p as and r as this so p is this and r is 1 over n r plus 1 over n x vector times x vector outer product and this this is generated so let us yes, so matlab is giving you a fair warning and this and let us run this so yes l needs to be the filter order needs to be put up here that was an error and that should be taken care of so yes this so r i have generated the autocorrelation vector autocorrelation matrix and i have generated the cross correlation vector and subsequently I have generated so one point three five and it is close to one. So the variance of x is close to one point three, one point two eight, one point two nine, one point two six, one point two seven. So and if I look at the entries of P, then the first two entries should match there is something yes so there, there is a problem i have not multiplied it with x0 now if i run this again so this should be multiplied by x0 to get this that x0 was missing so let us do that again and now let us see so this is p and r if i look at it close to 1.3 p is 0 0.5998 so which is there and 0 0.202 this is this matches and the last term will not be contained within this matrix but this matches also r you can see is a hermitian matrix and it is a toplitz matrix it is close to a toplitz matrix it is not exactly a toplitz matrix these entries ideally should be the same but uh, they will become the same if we average over infinite entries. So, this is a toplitz matrix, a Hermitian symmetric matrix, and let us check the eigenvalues. Eigenvalues of R, R. So, it all three eigenvalues are non negative. So, yes, this is a full rank matrix with non negative eigenvalues. Fine. So, say now what we do is we say that since the model order is 3, we say that W equals 
inverse of r times p and this gives me w and let me this be the last step. So, this is the MATLAB command for r inverse p if I run this this is w and this is slightly different from what was expected only the first entry is correct but uh, ideally all three of the entries should be matching maybe we are making some error over here. Entries of A do not match. So, if I make this 0, then W remains the same or W takes close to the same values, which is unexpected and uh, it should not happen ideally. So, there is something wrong with this model that uh, I need to figure out. There is something wrong with this model that uh, need to figure out, but uh, in most cases or generally this gives the correct result. So, there is something wrong I will figure out and uh, I will upload a corrected video for that, but uh, this most generally is the code. So, structure for p and do instead is maybe the definition. So, let me try this or sometimes this also causes a problem. No, this is not a problem. There is something structurally wrong with this. There is something structurally wrong with this and we will come back to that. So, that said we can use the Yule Walker equations to find out the 1 1 relationship between the AR coefficients and uh, the processes and uh, that is all for the Yule Walker equations. I will re-record this video uh, with uh, a corrected code soon. So, then we can edit this and uh, get rid of this. So, I will just uh, re-record the last part. So, that is all about uh, autoregressive processing and moving away processes. In the next lecture, we will start talking about Markov chains, which are another important uh, model for stochastic systems. Mm -hmm.